Hi guys, today we're going to be painting some lemons, some simple citrus watercolour. And lemons and oranges and things like that, although they seem a bit summery, are wonderful additions to a seasonal wreath or a garland. And as the seasons change, I'm starting to think about teaching you some stuff that will be really nice for Christmas cards, holiday season type things. So grab your paints and let's get started. Okay, let's get started with a lovely lemon. I'm going to paint a lemon with a stalk and a few leaves, so the most important thing is that we've got our lemon shape and a bit of a branch coming down. But we're not going to put too much else on, and let's just get going. So I've got cadmium yellow up here and I've also got lemon yellow so it feels appropriate that we would be using some lemon yellow so I'm going to start off by filling out the shape round the edges And then with some of the cadmium yellow, I'm just going to give us that little extra nobble at top and bottom. Because actually, even though the watercolour name is lemon yellow, I really think the cadmium yellow is the one that looks far more lemony. And then I'm just gradually sort of cleaning my brush off and then drawing in the colour but I want to achieve that lovely dappled texture so I'm just dappling the brush in there and that looks really nice so that's our starting point for our basic lemon now I've done the pencil a bit heavier for you guys because I know that a lot of you ask me to do that um, and then hopefully we can just rub it out at the end of the session okay I've got some green gold here I've also got some sap green. I can see a little bit of fluff in my palette. No, I can't. I can never quite be sure when Crumble's been about. And we're going to paint a few leaves and we're also going to give ourselves a little blossom flower as well. So starting from the top. Oh yeah, there is fluff on my actual brush. There we go. Okay, so sap green. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of a lemon yellow, uh, green gold kind of nobule. Sometimes it's what you don't paint that gives the, uh, the interesting kind of texture when it comes to stalks and things. And we're gonna get our little blossom flower there and we'll have two leaves coming off there. So let's pop in a leaf here. So I'm gonna start off with a fairly sort of dilute sap green with one C curve and then another coming down and I always like to pop in just a little bit of some the blue tone so I've got a bit of French ultramarine there get these leaves blending nice and smoothly you want to have not too much water on your brush so that it's not puddling but not so little that it doesn't blend smoothly so that's something to practice really one more
And then for our little blossom, I'm going to do some white petals first. As I said, this is a sort of simple citrus, so it's a simple little watercolour. So we're keeping things fairly, fairly loose. Really nice. Okay, so now we've got a basic structure there. I'm going to go back into this lemon and have a little look. So I'm going to get myself a smaller brush. I'm going to get size three tenths and I want to get the stalk coming down onto the lemon for a starter. So notice how I'm allowing some unpainted space to sort of create a bit of interesting texture. And then with just a very little bit of the green gold. Almost creating like some green shadow there. And again, sort of dappling it about a bit so that it reflects the dappled texture of the lemon and then down here on the underside just a little bit of it with the green gold again and although this is a very simple approach you're already getting quite a lot of detail now, something else I like to add in, but not too much, because I'm never a big fan of too much leaf detail, but I do like a few little leaf lines. So I'm using French Ultramarine, mixed in with a bit of sap green. And I'm just going to do just the faintest sort of start of a leaf line. Okay, so we just need to wait for our little blossom to dry and then we can get this finish. Okay, I have now had that dry and I've rubbed out the pencil as well because I thought that would be a nice time to do it. So the flower here, although we can see it quite clearly, in comparison to the rest of it, it looks like a nice sort of pale white flower. And then with some cadmium yellow, because cadmium yellow is just a slightly naturally more opaque um, colour than a lot of other watercolours. The word cadmium is what you need to look for. I am going to just paint in a few little filaments and then with some sap green, some fairly concentrated sap green as well, just a few little dabs in the bottom there and a few little, little sepals. And then we'll finish off with some little anthers. on the top there. And there you have a really simple citrus lemon. Thanks so much for watching. I love painting fruit and citrus fruit in particular. It's just so satisfying getting those rounded shapes. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I wanna say a big thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. Your support really enables me to make these videos that you can enjoy. And if you did enjoy it, hit the like button and comment below to let me know what you'd like to see me painting next. And of course, you can subscribe to make sure you never miss another video. Okay, bye.